patients with HPV positive or Franx tumors generally do much better than patients with HPV negative tumors. And we think that's driven by human papillomavirus. Um, however, we think there's variation within human papillomavirus among the HPV positive tumors. And we want to explore that and understand this variation among HPV positive tumors to see if we could use it clinically uh, or translationally to understand the biology or find new targets or biomarkers. The HPV positive uh, oropharynx cancer patients generally have very good long-term survival, but they often have significant long-term morbidity um, where they have problems with speech and swallowing um, long-term due to the intense radiation therapy that they're usually given. So there's a big push in the field to reduce the intensity of radiation therapy. However, to do that safely, you should only reduce treatment on the most low-risk patients. And right now, there are no biomarkers or molecular markers to determine who's low-risk and who's not. We examined uh, a cohort of HPV-positive uh, tumors from the Cancer Genome Atlas Project, or TCGA, and we found variations within the HPV-positive tumors. And we, we found this by looking at the level of HPV as a continuous variable instead of what's called a discrete variable. And this allowed us to find a variety of human genes associated with that level of HPV within the tumors. And that led us to a, a set of human biology, a set of genes linked to human biology that it turns out are highly associated with the function of HPV in those tumors, and somewhat to our surprise, with outcome of the patients. This study matters because we, we're hoping it will lead to improvements in the care of HPV-positive patients. That we may soon have a biomarker that can say, you are a low-risk patient, we can de-escalate therapy on you and hopefully have less side effects, but still have good outcome. Conversely, we may be able to say that your tumor is likely to be very aggressive and you won't respond to standard therapy and we should give you more therapy or put you on a clinical trial right away.